welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Demolition Derby. We've got four more teams competing tonight, including El Reco and the Gorilla Gearheads. But at first, we have the Crazy Brothers Wrecking Crew going up against Vandemonium. Crazy Bros, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, your Ferrari Tournament Champion, Crazy Jimmy! Next to him, weighing at 29.6 grams, it's the Mad Cabby! Then we have Psycho Dash, and then your 2020 Racing League Champion, Crazy Jimmy! Oh man, it's the Crazy Brothers. They're all here. The crowd is going wild. And now, driving for Vandemonium, weighing in at 41.3 grams, it's the Caravan Crasher. Then coming in at 30.6 grams, it's the Pacific Bomber. Weighing in at 41.7, it's the Vanguard Titan. And the heavy hitter, it's Big Betty Van Halen! Wow, did I see that correct? Betty Van Halen weighs 74 grams? That's why they call her Big Betty. Up first we have Crazy Jimmy and the Mad Cabby going up against the Caravan Crasher and the Pacifica Bomber. I can't wait to see Big Betty get out there. Here we go with the start of the first match of the night. Oh, right off the rip. <laughs> the Mad Cabby is out. That's one down, three to go. A good start for Vandemonium, the Crazy Brothers Wrecking Crew, the clear fan favorite. Let's see what happened to the Mad Cabby. I think he got sandwiched between Crazy Jimmy and the Pacifica Bomber. Here it is from the top. I think what happened was Jimmy got pushed back into the Mad Cabby's car. That's what it looked like. Keep in mind that the team with the last car standing will win the match. It looks like Psycho Dash will be taking the place of the Mad Cabby. Well, hopefully he lasts a little longer than one round. Here we go, Venomonium still has four drivers. The Crazy Bros have three. Oh, and the Pacifica Bomber goes over. Bam! That will tie things up. Both teams now have three, and we're back to an even playing field. Look at that, he hit him so hard, he's still twitching from the impact. Here's the replay, Psycho Dash with a direct hit on the Pacifica Bomber. Crazy Jimmy and the Caravan Crash are looking strong out there. Look how that van pops straight up in the air. So far, this has been a pretty even matchup. The Vanguard Titan will be coming in to take the place of the Pacifica Bomber. Vandemonium seems to have some of the heaviest vehicles in the Demolition Derby. Well, they are vans, so they're big vehicles. That's quite the expert analysis. Double knockout. Psycho Dash is out along with the Caravan Crasher. But look at my boy Jimmy still hanging in there. Jimmy is the man. That means both teams are down to two drivers each. We've got ourselves a fight on our hands here. The Vanguard Titan took out Psycho Dash and Crazy Jimmy finally got the best of the Caravan Crasher. Yeah, the two of them swapped a lot of paint tonight, but Crazy Jimmy came out on top. All right, now here we go. The two heavy hitters are out Crazy James and Big Betty Van Halen. That's 74 grams coming straight at you. I would not want to be Crazy James right now. It looks like Crazy James doesn't want to be Crazy James right now either. He avoids a direct hit with Big Betty. Hey, I don't blame him. And Crazy Jimmy racks up another knockout. This time he takes out the Vanguard Titan. Big Betty going after Crazy Jimmy after Crazy James avoids that hit. You know, it looks like Crazy James chickened out there. Oh, come on. You cannot say that about the champion. I'm sure he has some type of strategy here. I think his strategy is to let his little brother take on Big Betty all by himself. Well, that technically is a strategy. Here we go. Crazy Jimmy, 35.8 grams. Big Betty Van Halen, 74 grams. This hardly seems fair at all. All's fair in love and war and the demolition derby. Oh! Crazy Jimmy does the same thing. He will not hit Big Betty head on. I think they're trying to use the strategy that was used against the bad rabbits. Get Big Betty to go out of bounds. But this time we have those poles up, so. Yeah, the out of bounds rule still exists, but it's much harder now. I think, and don't get on me about this, I think the Crazy Brothers are a little intimidated by Big Betty. Well, it's a 74 gram van. That's more than double the weight of that little Fiero. Here we go at their second round. 
Ouch. Oh, and there we go. A direct hit. I felt that one. Sends Crazy Jimmy all the way back to the start. Betty Van Halen did not seem affected by that at all. She did a little bit of rocking, but there was no rolling. Look at that, Fiore. He just got rejected. He got sent out of the frame so fast. I'm not sure how much more Crazy Jimmy can take of this, but here he goes. Round three. After this, we go into the knockout round. Oh, oh, another hard hit. A direct collision. This time, Crazy Jimmy does a little better. Both drivers get turned sideways, but this means for the first time this season, we are going into the knockout round. There will be a safe zone in the middle of the arena. If you can push your opponent out of that safe zone and stay in the middle, that will count as a knockout. Of course, if your opponent flips over and you stay on your tires, that's a win regardless of where you are with the safe zone. I think Betty clearly has the advantage here. We have seen her push Jimmy pretty far back. Big Betty's oh! over! Jimmy rolls over! What? And that's the match! That's crazy! The win goes to the Crazy Brothers Wrecking Crew! Oh man, the little Fiero that could. I'll tell you what, 3D, when I pick a car, I sure know how to pick them. This is not about you right now. This is about Crazy Jimmy and that insane move he did to take out Big Betty. It's still about me, though. Look at that. Did he roll over the tire? I gotta see that again. If I'm correct, the tire actually saved Jimmy from flipping over on his roof. Look at it again. Watch that tire hitting the right wall. Oh. Look at that. He rolls on top of the tire. That's so crazy. What a move by Crazy Jimmy. Either he got very lucky there or that was just some insane skill. You know, I think with Crazy Jimmy, it's a mixture of the two. He's very talented, but man, he got lucky right there. Betty Van Halen came jumping out that start gate like a bull. I just can't get over the fact that that 35 gram Fiero just took out a 74 gram van. And here's your first winner of the night, Crazy Jimmy and the Crazy Brothers Wrecking Crew. What a way to start things off. We still got more after the break, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Demolition Derby. It's time for the El Reco Demolition Derby team to take on the Gorilla Gearheads. First up for El Reco, we have Loco Naranjo. Weighing it at 38.5 grams, it's El Chavo. It's El Chavo, I'm a big fan. Coming in at 34.1, it's El Cofuego. And the heavy hitter, Seeing a pattern here with the car choice, I just can't quite put my finger on it. And now, driving for the Gorilla Gearheads, it's Thrill the Magilla! Weighing in at 36.1 grams, it's the Mighty Mongo! Next up, weighing 37.1 grams, we have DK the Demo King! And finally, weighing 46.1 grams, it's Big Daddy Kong! Oh man, the El Recos, the Gorilla Gearheads, I'm not sure who to cheer for here. Here's the first matchup we have Loco Naranjo and El Chavo going up against Thrill Magilla and the Mighty Mongo. Well, if I'm going to cheer for anybody, it's going to be for El Chavo, so go El Chavo. You know El Chavo? Uh, yeah, El Chavo del Ocho. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, oh no! El Chavo! Right off the bat! Semechis Potillo! Oh man, you certainly know how to pick him! Ah, oh, por qué? El Chavo and the Mighty Mongo just collide and knock each other out. But what I'm even more impressed by is no one hit any of the tire stacks. That's what impresses you. Well, we just saw a huge collision. And you're impressed by a tire I'm stack. I'm impressed that the drivers didn't hit the stack. That's all. I think you need to raise your bar of being impressed. I think you're just salty because El Chavo just got knocked out. That's not out. entirely accurate. He got knocked out, but he also knocked out the Mighty Mongo. Knockout. It's a double knockout. Either way, he's out. Don't disrespect El Chavo. El Cofuego will be coming in for El Chavo. And we have DK the Demo King taking the place of Mighty Mongo. Come on, El Cofuego. Do it for El Chavo. I will be laughing if he gets knocked out right here, too. I'll just keep your comments to yourself. Our job here is to make <laughs> comments. <laughs> They're starting. Oh, oh. Big hit by all four drivers there. Several of them got pushed back into the wall. Everyone survived for another round. This looks like another good fight here. Both teams are tied with three drivers. Overall, they're looking evenly matched. Here they go. They're lined up again. Who will be the next one to get knocked out? Loco Naranjo. Oh, man. Both drivers for the Gorilla Gearhead stay in it. 
El Reco is now down to two. The Gorilla Gearheads have three. El Fuego staying alive. The heavy hitter for the El Recos will be coming out to join El Fuego, the Nacho Man. Thrilla Magilla looking good out there. He's the only driver left out there from the first round and just added a knockout to his list. The Nacho Man, Randy Salvaje, will be taking the place of Loco Naranjo. He'll be lined up directly across from DK, the Demo King. Okay, sit back, Rudy. You're now about to witness the true power of the El Reco from the Nacho Man. That was a big hit from the Nacho Man. I'm telling you, man, El Reco is still in this thing. The Nacho Man popped DK right up in the air, sent him all the way back. Let's see that again. That right there is the power of the El Reco. Everyone stays up that time. We're going to do it again. Here they go. Keep your eye on the Nacho Man. Nachos do sound good right now. Yeah, I'm feeling a little hungry myself. Oh, oh baby. You were right. Boom. The Nacho Man takes out DK. In his face. That was a hit. Who's the Demo King now, huh? And just like that, it's tied again. Both teams have two drivers. Look at this right here. Here it is. El Reco. You know, I think DK may have bounced on that tire, and that caused him to roll over. Oh, come on. The tire stack's really adding to the mayhem in the Demolition Derby. You and these tire stacks pay attention to the cars. I am, but the tires are cool, too. Right now, it's all about the Nacho Man. Well, he better watch out because Big Daddy Kong is joining the fight. He'll be taking the place of DK. Has Nacho Man met his match? Uh, don't be distracted by Big Daddy Kong. It's all about the Nacho Nacho Man. Oh! Oh, the humanity! No. I didn't know cars could do that. Big Daddy Kong laying the smack down. That right there is how you make a debut in the Diecast Demolition Derby. That was brutal. I felt that. My well, Miranda Veracruz de la Hoya Cardinal felt that. My Tio Pepe, Speedy Gonzalez, okay. Pepe Le Pew. Okay, now you're just naming Latin cartoon characters. Handy Manny. Okay, that's enough. It just hurts. Well, yeah, that was one of the biggest wrecks we've seen so far. The Nacho Man came bouncing out the start, hitting that tire. Dude, it's not all about the tires. Well, they have been playing a role tonight. Well, that means El Fuego is last man standing for Team El Reco. The Gorilla Gearhead still have two. And Thrilla Magilla is still in this thing. He's been in the arena since the start. Help us, El Fuego. You're our only hope. And there's a direct hit nose to nose. Doesn't seem to phase either of the drivers. I have the feeling we might be in for a drawn out match between these two. Here we go with the second round between El Fuego and Thrilla Magilla. Oh, oh yeah! Big hit! Oh yeah! And Thrilla Magilla is <laughs> out! And that si se puede. is going to tie it up. Both teams only have one driver left now. Si se puede. El Fuego, honestly a surprise. I did not expect that much from that car. It's all right, mijo. You gotta expect it all. The full enchilada. Well, apparently so. Look at that knockout hit. You know there's a saying, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Thrilla Magilla just got the horns. Well, that only means one thing. The return of Big Daddy Kong to the arena. Oh boy. I don't think I need to remind you what he did last time when he was in the don't, arena. Don't, don't, don't. It hurts too much. Here we go. El Fuego and Big Daddy Kong. Ooh, Aye. hard hit there. Big Daddy Kong sends El Fuego all the way back. He's not playing. But he's still alive. Look, man, I'm an El Reco fan, but Big Daddy Kong is the real deal. It's going to take some real strategy if you want to knock him out. Here they go for another round. El Fuego and Big Daddy Kong. Oh! oh. I think hit him even harder. El Fuego gets pushed back and spun around, but he is still in it. You gotta admire El Fuego. He's going right at him. None of that crazy brother chicken stuff. Well, remember, they did win. Yeah, but this is the real way to do it. Head to head. Give it all you got. If no one wins here, we will be going to the knockout round. Camino, that was a huge wreck. El Fuego got his lights knocked out. He got his lights turned off, his gas, sewer, and after all that, he got evicted. Look at this hit right here. <laughs> wow. Big Daddy I Kong. I don't even know what to say. Big Daddy Kong just let everybody know who the king of this jungle is. And you know, you got to give respect to El Fuego. He put up one hell of a fight. See, si. Viva El Camino. And there it is again. Wow, he did. That was wild. I don't know how many turns and flips. Biggest knockout so far. And here's your winner! Big Daddy Kong driving for the Gorilla Gearheads! That was an action-packed night. Tell them what's coming up next time. Up next on the schedule, 
Vandemonium takes on El Reco, and the Gorilla Gearheads will go up against Demolicious.